Everybody, welcome to episode 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 You can't see me My name is Inam and this is the episode 5 of the quarantine stories under hashtag Inam stories and my name is Inam for people who know me for people who don't know me my name is Inam and for people who come in between also my name will be Inam if you want me to change my name why don't you just say it why am I saying it so many times I'm going mad oh there are so many things that's happening right now at the in the country so my message to you no politics no religion that's the way to go about it that's how I go about it so let's keep that as the side let's keep that aside even those words are very heavy for me so I'm gonna keep it aside I'm gonna take you now to a very beautiful place and forget about all the things that are happening that are affecting you that are stressing you out so let's go all right five four three two one go so today's story is about the title of the story is the lady and the dragon there's a lady there's a dragon there is a there are other people other characters involved I don't want to say anything and slip it away so I'm gonna do everything that I need right now and we will get it on and we will begin with the story right now once upon a time young lady Lillian lived in a beautiful small castle few miles from a town called stone walls so there was a town called stone walls where a small castle was present and in that small castle there was one beautiful little girl her name was young lady Lillian her parents were dead heavy and her brother had gone to fight in the crusades so young lady Lillian her parents were already dead and her brother had gone to crusades so for people who know about uh, crusades you know what I'm speaking about for people who do not know about crusades let me th shed some light on that subject so crusades were basically uh, wars that were uh, in the name of religion Wars in the name of religion was crusades and uh, young lady Lillian's brother had gone to the crusades and uh, the parents were dead. It must have been very traumatizing for young lady Lillian but I guess she had people to rely on. The castle steward and the servants kept everything in good order and plenty of food was grown in the garden. So there was plenty of food and all the help that was present in the castle were very loving towards the young lady Lillian. I'm guessing the young lady Lillian was... I, you know who called me? I forgot. I'm sorry. Everybody say hi to DJ B. DJ B. Yo. Shall we start? I mean, we've already started. Uh, will you please I apologize that I did not introduce you uh, can I please continue I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I apologize twice all right okay DJB has given me permission and he has forgiven me all right let's move so where was I so the stewards had set up the garden and they grew food for young lady Lillian in the garden completely so I'm guessing the young lady Lillian was a vegan did I give out any clue Shh. let's go with the story then one night little lady Lillian heard a rustling a rustling and loud flapping of wings in the garden then one night, young lady Lillian heard a rustling and loud flapping of wings in the garden. So what had happened? When she was sleeping, she heard wings 
but she didn't give it a thought because I think she thought somebody was farting. <laughs> the next morning, she found a large egg amongst the dead leaves. Ooh. So she found a large egg like this in the garden. I can't leave it here, she thought. I can't leave it here, she thought. One of the animals is sure to take off this egg that I so want to keep for myself. So Lady Lillian took the egg indoors and kept it warm and warm and after a few weeks of it hatched. The egg hatched. See, I told you that young Lady Lillian was vegan. So if the lady was not vegan, then when she found the egg, you know, you know what we all do when we find the egg? We break it and we make the egg becomes Super Saiyan and it becomes an omelet. So Lady Lillian <laughs> took the egg and kept it with her for a few weeks and warmed the egg up and it hatched. So what was inside the egg? Let's find out. After the egg hatched, she saw the littlest dragon ever. So she found this dragon from this egg. So from the egg came the dragon. Now let's consider this as the dragon. Alright. Young Lady Lillian made a real pet of the creature and it grew big and strong and useful. Was the dragon useful? How? How was the dragon useful? I don't know. Let's see. After only a few weeks, it said. Who said? The dragon said. Do not bother me feeding bread, honey, butter. Milk, I will take care of myself. I will catch my own food. Out into the castle grounds went the dragon and caught rats, lizards, Caterpillars, butterflies, whatever the dragon could find. The steward and the gardeners were very pleased. Obviously, their work is just reduced. They don't have to put so much of effort in cleaning anymore. So they get a discount in the salaries. So that, I think that touched the wrong nerve. Okay. Now, there was no pests to eat their food stock. That's why they were happy. However, after a, year, after a year or so, the dragon had grown very big. So the dragon was just had grown like crazy big. He was still friendly though. He was still friendly and useful. But only people in the castle knew that. Remember stone walls, the small castle where young lady Lillian lived? Yes, only people within the castle knew about the dragon and how friendly was the dragon. The people in the town knew about the dragon, but they were very afraid of the dragon. They were very scared. Obviously, they will be scared and afraid because it's a damn dragon for God's sake. Young Lady Lillian says, Isn't it strange that we don't have visitors anymore? I think Young Lady Lillian would have told that line in this way. Isn't it strange that we don't have visitors anymore? Obviously, Young Lady Lillian, I want to tell you one thing, Young Lady Lillian, there is a dragon and it's grown big and all the town people are scared of it, for God's sake. Then one day, 
a knight came riding into the castle and demanded to see Lady Lillian, who was not young anymore. She also had grown up along with the dragon, who was already growing up to be this big dragon. So the guy, the man, the knight who came to see young Lady Lillian said, I have come to slay you, terrible dragon who is tormenting you, said the knight. I have come to slay the dragon, brandishing his sword. He says, I am here to slay the dragon with this sword who has been tormenting you that much. Hmm. The Lady Lillian asks, Who are you, knight? The knight smiles, goes to the young lady, kisses her on her cheek and says, Young Lady Lillian Sissy, you don't remember your own brother who had gone to crusades? So it was beautiful. The moment was really beautiful. Young Lady Lillian was ecstatic that her brother had finally come back. Remember, Young Lady Lillian was all alone with no parents. So the brother, having a brother, that's the only connection that she has. And that made her real happy. Now, how lovely to see you, smiled Lillian. But surely, you're not talking about my pet little Dragonkins. Why, he's such a treasure. You must not harm a hair of his head. I repeat, I love the way that young lady Lillian speaks. But surely, you're not talking about my pet little, dra little dragonkins. Why, he's such a treasure. You must not harm a hair on his head. When Lillian's brother understood how good the dragon was, and how helpful he was in the entire Stonewall castle. He got an idea. He got the dragon, he got his sister, and he got all the stewards, and he went about the town, and they all spoke about how the dragon would help the people of the town. Now as time passed away, the people of the town were very happy with the dragon. But one day the dragon became really really big and left the town and left our little young lady Lillian all alone with lots and lots and lots of memories and that is the end of the story now what have we learned from this story is there was a dragon who came in and dragon who left the time that the dragon spent in the castle and with the town the dragon contributed to everybody the, the dragon seems scary but everybody made it useful for themselves so the point that I'm trying to make is the dragon right now is the pandemic that we are living in and let us transition this away as peacefully as lovingly let us just give it away let's just go through this let's go through the grind and let's get head back strong together the social distancing maintain it and not emotional distancing all right this has been the episode five of the lady and the dragon i hope you guys have enjoyed it and this is game of thrones of my version and see you guys bye bye